And now, God has given you a new heart. So with a new heart, you got to do something with the old body. So the, the, the pool baptism symbolizes, since, since the old you is dead, so what we're going to do is we're going to bury you in the pool, the liquid grave. It symbolizes that you are dead, buried, and risen with Christ Jesus in your new walk. And because of that, since you have a new walk, a new life, amen, your walk from this day forward should be somewhat different. It won't be automatic. It'll come little by little. Like you was cursing yesterday, tomorrow there ought not to be any cursing. You were cheating, stealing in line the day before, little by little, you got to move away from that. Allow the Holy Spirit to fill your life. And as He fills your life, your walk with the Master will become closer and closer. Baptism symbolizes that you are now part of the body of Christ. Because you're part of the body of Christ. As I've already said, we're going to bury the old you and bring up out of the grave, just as Christ was raised from the dead, bring up out of the grave a new you. A you that got to walk, it's, it's, and it's a struggle to walk righteous before God and before men. And the reason it's such a struggle is because of where we live. We live in a world where Satan is in charge. And he would do everything to outdo Christ. And the only way he can get to Christ is through, amen, the body of Christ, those believers. That's you and you and you and me, all of God's children. Amen. That's why we are baptizing. This is, this is your outward show of an inner conviction. What it means is that you've been born again. And because of that, we're going to bury the old you and the new you shall live to Christ. Amen. Anybody got any questions on our scripture? If not, we're going to prepare to go to the water. Amen. This is this is the good part. Amen. You've been coming. Amen. And now you have received the Lord Jesus. And because of that, we're going, amen, to the water. Amen. Deacon Bryant, I'm going to ask that you lead us. As we sing, take me to the water. Amen. I'm going to ask that you still keep your mask on. As I said, when we get in the water, I will cover your mask. Amen. With the, with the handkerchief. Amen. Take me to the water.
and of the lead people in the city of We thank you now for these newcomers. Bless the man of the the little ones, the little ones, rest the family and the, the grandparents. The Lord be a good holy in the heart of your Lord of Power. Knowing that fear and Satan would try to reclaim. But we thank you for it. Thank you for that vision. Hold us in the hall of your Lord of Power. Lord, I pray now for sickness. Knowing this virus is all around us. Amen. Go on and coming in and yet you had us in your hand. You kept us safe now. And we want to tell you, thank you. And we go from this place now. Continue to keep us safe. Watch over us and hold us in the hall of your Lord of Power. And Lord, all of those that I'm doing down the thing, I just come and pull me right now. May the grace of God, the love of Jesus Christ, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest rule in the God for these people, and for now and forever. And the people of God.